Hi, welcome to Daily Planet. I'm Dan Riskin. And I'm Zaya Chong. We are so excited that you are with us because we have a wonderful hour ahead for you. We do indeed. We're going to check out this rig. It looks like no cars, but then it can become all the cars. And while we're talking about cars, we're going to make a special one just for your dog because, you know, Fluffy got a ride in style. But to start, the largest, baddest hydraulic crane in the world is about to flex its muscles for the very first time. And guess who gets to be there to see it all go down? You. There are some big cranes working this port, but they just got dwarfed by this. It is the biggest hydraulic crane in the world. The Mansonen 200. Made in Finland, this behemoth weighs as much as 200 family cars. Today is its first day on the job. It's mobile, as you can see, the undercarriage. It's maneuverable, it's quick, and I hope you'll see that later today which it allows us to achieve really quick cycle times. A cycle is one load, like a coil of sheet steel, picked up, swung over, and deposited, then back again. This new crane has proved itself in other ports, unloading ships faster than any crane of its kind, thanks to its lifting capacity, reach, and speed. Speed is so, so important for unloading. The less time a ship's in port, the more money everyone saves. Tony Rooney wants to prove that this crane can unload ships just as quickly here in Garston. His distribution company sold it to the port. It arrived here on a dozen trucks just a week ago. Two mobile cranes helped assemble it, and it took five days just to put all the pieces together. It's really exciting this morning to actually see the machine now built and ready for action. We're a little nervous that it proves to handle the loads and capacities that we've specified it to do. Today's task, unload a shipload full of clinker, a binding ingredient for cement. The big challenge is the operator is new to this machine. Phil Ponsonby is a pro, but he's only had a few days to familiarize himself with the largest crane he's ever controlled. He's been getting lessons from Pekka Petinen, the trainer from the manufacturer. It's good to check that settings are correctly selected. The operators have been trained. Uh, they're ready to go. So you can push the start button. Today we're looking after doing its first unload of, it, of this ship, where we're looking for it to do a minimum of 75 tons per hour. And that will mean we need cycle times averaging 50 seconds per cycle. Phil is a bit slow at first, feeling out his controls. His right hand slews the crane left or right. His left controls the arm and the clamshell bucket that does all the scooping and dumping. Together, the arm and the bucket weigh as much as an army tank. For Phil, the trick is to manage a lot more mass than he's used to. He has to be fast and accurate as he swings the arm. But if he's too abrupt, he can overshoot his mark and slow the operation. So Pekka has taught him, swing that extra mass smoothly, ease up at the end of each movement. Yeah, you've got to be really, really steady with it. The new crane is assisted by a smaller, older one. They move at about the same speed, but the Manson and 200 should be much more efficient because its bucket is two and a half times larger. It's a great piece of machinery, and uh, hopefully it should uh, speed the job up. Phil is now on target. One cycle every 50 seconds. Really excited. Fantastic to see it working at long last. When it comes to moving bulk cargo, hydraulic cranes are more efficient than conventional ones with ropes because the cargo can't sway in the wind and slow things down. Hydraulics give them very precise control. With practice, this arm, which has a reach longer than a tennis court, can be moved with centimeter accuracy. I've done some quick calculations. My view is we're almost reaching a thousand tons per hour, which is much more than the 750 I was expecting. Phil is really getting the hang of it. He's down to 45 seconds per cycle. Completely exceeding my expectations. 
And as you will soon see, it's nearly empty. Hopefully it can go home early. When the crane bucket scrapes the bottom of the hole, they lower a small excavator. To push the clinker into bigger piles, the right bite size for the big bucket. Well, this is the last one. Uh, job's done in uh, half the time as it normally takes us. Phil has mastered the massive machine and wowed his trainer. I was a little bit surprised from the operators. So they did manage very well. So it's really professional. Job is done. And Tony has been proven more than right about the new giant. The ship leaves port on time. Its size and speed allow the dock to look for new business. And there are a number of new customers already talking to the port. They're quite excited about how this new piece of equipment will speed the operation. At least in this case, size really does matter, as long as there's a gentle touch behind it.